Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Unreal Engine 5.3 3D avatar into iClone 8 3D animation software with correct materials and also full animations. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. Alright. So now I'm going to close the Unreal Engine 5, close everything from Unreal Engine 5. I'm going to, to just start a fresh new game project from the Unreal Engine 5. I'm going to refresh everything. Just refresh the icon as well. Everything reset from zero. Alright, so the first step, I'm going to open the Unreal Engine 5.3. As demo, I'm going to just create a fresh new game project, a third person game project. I click create. Now, this is a fresh new game project in Unreal Engine 5.3. The first step, what you need to do is just go to the window, content browser, to activate the content browser one. And it, you have the freedom to move it. And I prefer to just drag it to the bottom so that you can view it. So in Unreal Engine 5.3, you have some sample character under the content. Go to the characters, mannequins. Now you can see all this folder. Just go to the meshes. Look at the pink color. All of the pink colors are the skeleton mesh. For example, the SKM queen symbol. This is what we call the skeleton mesh. All right. The skeleton mesh is the 3D model that you want. The first step, let's say if you want to export this into your icon and character creator for 3D animation software, what you need to do is just right click asset actions to export as FBX file as demo. I'm going to export it on my desktop, right click, create a new folder. I'm going to name this as SKM Queen Simple. I follow the 3D avatar's name, enter. The FBX file, I click save. The FBX export compatibility, choose the oldest one, FBX 2011. Then all of this, just follow follow my configuration, then click export. At this moment, it is going to successfully export it as FBX file. Now you already have the FBX file, but it is not enough because you not yet export the textures. You can see in this 3D avatar, it have some of the textures, the materials, you have two materials within this 3D avatar. Just check that here, material slots, you have two. Double click the first one, it is going to open it in a new tab, you can see. Then double click the second one as well. The two materials, we are going to find out where are the textures located. Now you have the base colors and the textures. Look at the locations, it is under game, characters, mannequins, textures, screen, slash. this is the locations. And the normal map also the same, look at the locations. Mannequins, textures, screen, T queen, etc. So we are going to find out the locations. Remember these locations, we are going to export the texture and materials as well. So once we already know the locations, we just minimize it and find it from here. Go to check the locations. It is under the texture screen. So now all of the textures are here. We need the diffuse colors and the normal. So right click it, export the assets actions, export. We are going to export on the same folder, the SKM Queen Simple, right click, create a new folder, name this as material. Right, save it. 
Now, just check the locations. It is on the desktop, the material. You already have a texture here. We are going to export the rest, like the normal map, right click, assets, actions, exports, then this one, right click, assets, actions, exports, the normal map. Just to export it, then check again. These four textures already done. We need the diffuse and the normal map. Right, next, we are going to export the animations. So, back to this window, close the materials, back to the skeleton mesh. To check the animations, you have to click the first one. Then, under the assets browser, you can check all of the animations, all of the motions. We only want the green color. The green colors are what we call the animation sequences that have the motion data of the animation data. Let's say if I just want to have a few of this, I click the first one and hold, hold the control to click the rest that I want. Let's say I want these five. Then what we need to do is just right click it, export to FBX. Then select the folder, go back to the SKM Queen Simple folder, right click, create a new folder, name it as animations. Enter two times and click select the folder. The FBX export compatibility, choose 2011, then click export all. At this moment, check your folder under the animations. You already collected all of the animations that you want. Now, in your Unreal Engine 5, you can just temporarily close this. You already have all of the, the important elements. You already exported from the Unreal Engine. You have the 3D model in FBX form. You have all of the motions and animations in FBX form and you have all of the materials in PNG format. Now we can, we can import into the Character Creator 4 and Icon 8 3D animation software. First we start, starts in Character Creator 4. First step, you have to, you have to import the FBX file. Just drag and drop into your Character Creator 4 import as a character, non-standard character, choose this one, non-standard character, click apply. Then the profile detected for auto conversion, you choose the Unreal base character, then click OK. Now we can see the SKM Queen Simple already imported into the character creator for in T-Pose. Next up, go to the material, scroll up, you have to import the material first. Go to your material folder, then try the first material. All right, just drag and drop to here. Drag the base color first to try. Is it correct? Right. Or this one, drag and drop. We test which one is the correct one. All right, this one should be the correct one. So the second material should belongs to this drag and drop yes correct then the normal map drag and drop to here choose the normal so another one is the another one the normal map drag it to the bottom and choose normal click ok then it is a little bit dark just compare with the original 3D avatar here, the mana queen matches the SKM queen. It is exactly the same color. Right, so now in your character creator 4, 
I can choose to make it brighter. I click the first material, hold the shift, click the last material. I scroll down the diffuse color. I make it brighter so that I can see I'm more comfortable with make it become a white color. Click OK. Next, we are going to import the motions. All right, to import the motions, just choose from your animations. So just click the first one, hold the shift, click the last one to select all, drag and drop to this avatar. Then the motion profile, choose the Unreal Base character, click convert all. It is going to, to just convert it all to the character, to the motions. It will become the Acro Motion file. Next, you just need to go to the custom motion. Under the animations, just expand it. Go to the motions, external motions. You can see all of these are here. These are all of the motions for the 3D avatar. Right click to find the file. It is going to open with the file explorer. So these six Six motion files are the icon motion file. It is under the external motion folder. Then, next, back to your SKM Queen Simple folder. From your character creator 4, we are going to export as iAvatar for your icon 8 3D animation software. Click File, Export iAvatar. Click export and I'm going to export it at this folder. This folder, I'm going to name this as SKM Queen Simple dot I avatar. Then I click save. It is going to export as I avatar here. Just wait for a while. File export I avatar exports where is the locations all right wait i have to copy this folder destination location Control c and then click here Control v and press enter all right i'm going to save it at here all right now the iClone i avatar already exported here at the same time for all of these external motions, I'm going to right click to create a new folder here, name this as RL motions. Then Control A to, to select all, Control X to cut and click here, Control V to paste or move it to here. So finally we have the iClone motion file with the iAvatar. Now we can test it in iClone 8 3D animation software first. I'm going to drag the eye avatar to the scene, drag and drop, drag and drop a few of it. Now we are going to test the animations, the RL motions. This is the Icon 8 3D animation software. Let's say the first one is the jump. So T pose, walk, run. Alright, now we are going to test the animations. Try to play. Alright, now all of the animation already successfully imported into the iClone 8 3D animation software together with the 3D avatar and it is usable and it is useful for every 3D avatar in iClone because now it already become the iClone motion file and iAvatar, you can use it anytime. Alright. That's all for today about my tutorials on how to import Unreal Engine 5.3 3D Avatar into Icon 8.4 with the with the animations and also the material setup. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling. 3D animations and 3D game developing. 
you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!